Welcome back to Stalker. Today we are running headfirst into the Red Forest. This is the location directly between us and the Brain Scorcher. We need to turn off the Brain Scorcher before we can enter Pripyat, which is the last place before the nuclear power plant itself. I forget. At some point we got a prototype protection against the Brain Scorcher, so... In my mind I'm thinking is that we, we have shielding against the Brain Scorcher. Why don't we just go into Pripyat? Because it's only so effective. That makes sense, it is a prototype. I was just wondering if they mentioned something specific like, oh, if it's too powerful beyond a certain point. I guess so. Like, the Brain Scorcher is far worse than what we experienced at Lab X-16. The Red Forest has a ton of heavily irradiated patches, and pretty much all the guys are monolith. Nobody is your friend, and they're all shooting at you. I like how they were they were shooting at you, and you were just still trying to sneak. Well, it, sneaking does make you less of a target. Yeah, I, I just like to imagine. I assume they're shooting at someone else. Tiptoe, tiptoe. <laughs> I mean, they're not hitting me. What the? the oh. <laughs> I thought it was like a cartoon disguise, like, dude, I'm just a box. Yeah, this is suddenly a Let's Play of Prey. It's changed environments such that we've gone about 50 years in the past, but... Also, one thing of note, um, you kind of really want power armor by this point, because every monolith soldier has, like, stupid powerful guns. Yep, and they all have armor-piercing rounds. Is that a, oh yeah, sea urchins are just kind of around in this game. Yeah. Spiky balls, you drive in your skin and get rid of radiation. Ugh. Sounds very not fun. Eh, no, nothing. Aw, oh, that epic jump shot was worthless. <laughs> Do you want to know what bugs me? This new era of video games makes me really appreciate the fact that we've realized we can grab ledges in first-person shooters. So we come back to this and I'm just like, why can't you just climb up the- okay, fine. The one nice thing, even though all the guys have AP rounds, you clear a few of them out, now you do. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, if you didn't get one before, they give you one gratis. Yeah, and it's a good gun. I recommend it. A lot more than the one I'm using right now. Is that still the... That's still an AK. Oh, yep. <laughs> look at this little thing. I got a lot of mileage out of it. Are we at last ditching the bitch? We're in the area around where it happens. I don't think I do it quite yet. We're in the, er we're in the perimeter of ditching the bitch. Yeah. This is Thorn's security AK-47. He sleeps with it every night. Keeps the enemies away. This thing is a cute little thing. Yeah, it's essentially a silenced sniper rifle without the scope. It's more like an assault rifle, kind of? Because it doesn't really do single shot and it has a medium drop-off point. It's kind of why I don't like this gun. Its drop-off is a little goofy. Seems pretty accurate at a pretty far distance for me. Hmm. I've, yeah, I already noticed the big difference between this gun and the last one. Oh yeah, I'm looking at the crossers and it's a significant difference. I don't know, I just never really use this gun because it just... By this point I've gotten a, uh, I want to say a G36. Either that or the uh, SIG. Those are my favorite guns. G36 sounds like a plane. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, kind of. be a plane gun. Shoot airplanes at people. <laughs> oh my god. That'd be more effective, maybe. That's probably the noise it would make. Oh no. <laughs> I'm in a bad place. Hey, at least I found a sniper rifle, though. Oh my god, finally. Yep. Use it. Only has three rounds. I'm just sitting in a patch of radiation. I did find a new set of armor. That might be why you're so heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's not better than what I have, though. And then I dropped the well, good gun. Why'd I do that? I pick another one up later. I think it's called the Obreeze, and that's pretty good. 
But yeah, by this point, you get the Dragunov sniper rifle. That's like the Russian sniper rifle, and it's really good, but ammunition is hard to come by. And he dropped it. Yeah, switch back to the one that I know is reliable. And also, it has far more ammo, and a lot of the guys have the ammo for it. Yeah. Dropped the sniper rifle. Yep. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh look who you <laughs> listen you, there's got to be more ammo later there is that's the beauty I, I get that you, like right now you could probably just use this but fucking like you're shooting dudes from like 2,000 feet away you want to know the funny part Jacob what remember freedom base yeah Thorne could get this exact same gun but it doesn't have automatic but it has like a uh, I want to say 10 times scope that is a more reliable sniper rifle with more uh, common ammo. Bye, Jesus. <laughs> I like how he wiggled a little bit when you took stuff out of his pocket. These guys are still using Enfields? What the heck? Upgrade, guys. Jeez. You're Monolith. You own the zone. I thought you were going to make it your mom joke. <laughs> <laughs> Monolith's ultimate weapon. Your mother. Your mom. Oh, God, the Americans. You guys are really bad at remembering this is Ukraine. <laughs> yeah. I, listen, I, I've just been... I've just been, like, expected that everything is America versus Russia. I'm just culturally incompetent. I can't say insensitive because I do respect it, but I just don't know it. <laughs> now this is a sort of a tough corner that I'm on. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if you'll have the same luck with it as I did. Let's see if you guys will see why. Oh, I know why. I don't. I'm just hoping you get that luck. There's some fucking evil tentacly trees. It's either this corner or the one I'm coming up on right now. No, no, it's the one you're coming up on. This one is just a choke point of four dudes. I can deal with that. But I know what you're talking about, Thorn. Yeah. Actually, handling this a lot better. Usually I go around the left side of the truck and that never goes well. That's actually a sniper in the bed of the truck. <laughs> he did not see me until I killed him. That was a dramatic death. I loved it. I would have hung on to the sniper rifle. It's just I have so low storage capacity right now. Right, I, I actually thought you were holding a bit more than you usually do. I noticed you're like more than half of your inventory was full without you being encumbered. Yeah, but only just. Right. It's a very delicate balance. It's dead, Jim. Oh my god, it's not dead, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> it's alive, Jim. He did like a little tap dance as he died. I forget what engine this is, but yeah, ragdoll physics about this era of games, always the best. I know, I love it. It's so Source Engine. You still have that shotgun? Really? Uh, right in the deck. <laughs> yeah. He felt like he got punched rather than shot. Ah, uh, yes, my gun that shoots fists. <laughs> <laughs> that home on the peen. This is like Enter the Gungeon, except Ukrainian. There, you happy? Oh, home on the peen. <laughs> oh, hello. There it is. Oh, God. <laughs> Here's the problem. <laughs> Yeah, that boy has infinite ammo, too. So I actually have a funny story of that particular rocket launcher guy. I try to play this game stealthy as well. And when I recently streamed this, I forgot he existed. So I was slowly walking along. I thought everything was dead. So I start looting. And then at one point, I get up and I hear a weird sound. And I turn around to see a rocket coming right at my dome. Instantly dead. Oh, boy, gosh. I never knew you could headshot with a rocket, but here we are. <laughs> well, I mean, if you shoot at the head, technically. 
Yeah. The blast radius. Oh, there he is. <laughs> That's good to know. Yes. No, 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 no. Damn. <laughs> he just gave up that first time. He saw it comes like, well. Oh, I ran out of stamina. Uh, you even looked at the camera. You know, Thorn, they, uh, they gave you the dragon off and put this guy here expecting you test out the dragon off. Well, you know, as long as you get past that first rock. Yeah. Then it'll be kind of fun. <laughs> like, you don't really need the sniper rifle, but this is game design 101. Oh, good morning. <laughs> I seriously thought you were going to get pistol whipped to death. I don't know, there's something funny about the way that guy's tactics worked. So, Jacob, what's your favorite sniper rifle? My favorite sniper rifle is the one that Thorn put down. <laughs> I went back and got it. Probably say your favorite, Jacob. Because you put it down and I took it and I went and beat the game. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get there and everything's gonna already be done. Oh man. I just realized that the weird gun that I think is called the Obreeze, but I'm pretty sure it's not because I think the Obreeze is a sawed-off sniper rifle. That weird assault rifle uses the same ammo as that silence gun. So now you have two guns that just have no ammo. I really needed to rehaul my entire arsenal here. The interesting thing about this game is that you can beat it with just the AK. It's really freaking hard, but you can do it. And I very nearly did, until I got sick of it. I was about to say, Thorn's on his way to completing that achievement. I, I think this game was before Chivo, sadly. Xbox 360 came out in 2005. I think this game is earlier than that, but I'm not sure. It was either before the advent of Chivos or before the popularity of Chivos. Seven dragon off bullets. Seven dragon off bullets. Yes. Now nah, let's do it. Yay. 2007. Hmm. Is when Stalker Shadow Chernobyl came out. So I think this was just a. Well, it was made by a company that was probably. I think it was the about the time where achievements were slowly being integrated. And I think this company was just like, nah, we don't need that. Let's instead just make our game miserable. I like how you completely missed that Jacob was joking. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I was joking. I forgot what the... I forgot my point. Very common problem with me. <laughs> I picked the right people for this job. I meant the... I meant the literal form of the word achievement. <laughs> What's in this trailer? Another set of armor. Some clever? Garbage. That is pretty garbage armor at this point. Yeah, honestly, if you want utility, you have variants of the save suit if you want protection. Somehow you got power armor by this point. I'm actually impressed. <laughs> go, 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 go. Okay, let's try this thing out. Sonic the Chernobyl. <laughs> it was a lot of waiting, so I sped this up here. I feel like you did this on purpose, Thorn. <laughs> okay. That fast motion grenade boom. That was funny. Wow. Oh, I thought like I was wondering why are you shooting his shoulder? No, he was at an off angle. Yeah. Oh hey, you got it. Look how well it's treating you. Well, I mean it did miss that one easy shot, so I mean I guess I'm full of shit. See, it turns out the dragon of Pretty damn good sniper rifle. Yeah. And here's another one. Dual wield. Use it like binoculars. Uh, it's technically called the SVD and the SVU, but it's known as the Dragonov. Watch, there's probably gonna be some gun nut in the thread that's saying I'm completely wrong, and they're right, which they probably are, but I distinctly, for some reason, rem think, realize that, like, you know what, never mind, I'm, I'm rambling at this point. <laughs> Need more ammo. Drug. These drugs. 
<laughs> just, <laughs> yes, it is. yes, it is. I just imagine a Ukrainian dude just walking up to you in the street. He's drugs. He's drug for sale. I need, I need lunch. That reminds me of this story in uh, that in middle school. I was on my way to the bus to go home. This kid walked up to me. He said, "Hey, want to buy some weed?" I said, "No." He said, "Okay," and he left. Mm. Well, at least he was <laughs> polite about it. Yeah. <laughs> that guy was pretty freaking far. Now that I look at it. Yeah. Feels like there should be more guys here than they are at the moment. It definitely looks like an open area where you just get shot to die. Check in the jeep. Now that is the road down to Pripyat. You can actually see some monolith coming down the road. I thought they were zombies. Are they zombies? No, those are monolith. Yeah, those are monolith and they're... pissed, for one. How could you still hear them from this distance? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so it appears the sniper rifle's about 25% better. I think the big issue is, I think from what I could tell, Thorn is not double crouching? I might, I might be, I'm not sure. I was just gauging based on his um, general height. I think I double crouch when I use the scope. Okay. Like, no matter what the gun. <laughs> well, that went well. <laughs> There's a lot of radiation down the road. Kind of interesting that Pripyat in this game is a completely different part of the city than in Call of Pripyat. Yeah, I'm just trying to think if like if there is some overlap. That is kind of strange. I think the football field makes a return. Spoiler alert, there's a football field, I'm sorry. God damn it. I may as well just le- oh my god, that effect. Yep. Yeah! That's oh. what it looks like when your brain is melting. Scorching, to be exact. Okay, so, Thorin, there's gonna be a door coming up that I gotta wonder, is it possible to open it? Are you talking about the door in the facility right next to us? Hello! <laughs> Hi! Oh god! Uh oh Oh, oh shit! Punch him! Thank you for taking your time. It was atop the staircase of where we just shot that sniper. I... Well, you'll see. Yeah. Because I remember there is a door here that, oddly enough, has no code. I just can't remember where. Feels like there's a few of them. Especially in the Brain Scorcher. Wait, what the hell is that thing on the left? It says Mimi something. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, the last guy had something that looked like a... Some scrap said Mimi something or other. That was Mama's beads. Me Mimi's. Oh, okay, because I play complete. I've never seen Mama's beads. I think they might have taken it out in that mod. They're not that useful. They're another artifact. They're one of the few that don't have any negatives, but it's not a super big positive. Oh, this guy's all curled up. Taking a nap. He has a pretty good pistol. That pistol is the one that uses the Hydroshock rounds, and they're pretty decently strong for a pistol. Now one of these dudes... Maybe not this one, maybe the next one. There's another scientist over there. One of them should have the code for that door that you're talking about. Okay. That might be why I've never opened it. I, I forget these guys exist. Like, it's either the scientist under the bridge or maybe the sniper. Now, this big chunk of area, I guess that's technically the Red Forest itself. There's not really anything in there. I think there's a bunch of anomalies, some snorks, and some artifacts. It's essentially a shortcut if you want to get to this area quickly. Because that place where I first got the sniper rifle, you can cut through there. That's the forest that leads right to here. Now, 
Eh. Whichever, frankly. I can't dual wield. You have two sniper rifles. Both of them are unloaded. What do you do? I wasn't sure about this either. But apparently in my diary... I don't think it's... No. It's a PDA you find from somewhere, from one of the ecologists. That gives you the code. It's kind of a long one. Yeah. Considering there's not that much in here, actually. They're protecting the old washing machines made for mice, or whatever those are. Honestly, I'd consider three med kits a boon, dude. Well, hello. Oh my god, a ghost. Oh. Bye. It's nice seeing you. Say hi to the wife. My wife's dead. So are you, so I mean, at least you're together. <laughs> So this is just going to be a thing on the way up to the Brain Scorcher itself. We're going to see images of a bunch of different types of mutants just running at us. They cannot hurt us. Apparently they cause psi damage when they attack you, but that has no effect whatsoever, so I'm not entirely sure why it's a thing. Are you ready for this action movie segment? Oh my god. Oh, sick explosions, bro. Do it again. Oh, what? <laughs> the barrel doesn't trigger the anomaly. The anomaly knows. The anomaly only attacks <laughs> anything with a... What? <laughs> Thank you. Is that like a rat? It was a gunshot. Oh, I, th I thought I saw some kind of orange ghost rat that exploded. Oh, that was another artifact. Oh. I think it was a stone blood. I don't know why it's out here. Ooh! Nice shot. Ooh! Also nice shot. I'm now in my element. I love being a sniper. Really? <laughs> you, you, you do? <laughs> kind of fooled us. Goddamn. Ah! Oh, Ghost hog. No, I like being a sniper. It's just I hadn't really found a good sniper rifle. That's why I was sticking to the AK, because it had an attachable scope. Yeah, that, like, I will defend Thorn here. Unless you know this game fucking intimately and metagame the shit out of it, you don't get a sniper rifle for a while, and even if you do, you have to go through, um... You have to go through Cordon, Garbage, Bar... What's the place beyond Bar? Freedom Base? I'm gonna call it Freedom Base, whatever. Army Warehouses? Army Warehouses, yes. You have to go through four areas, and to go through Junkyard, you need to go through two areas before that. So you gotta go through six areas, and that's like, what, five hours of content before you get a quote-unquote sniper rifle? What a crock of shit with how much long-range stuff you have to do. It bothers me so much. There's your rat. Ah. Thanks. It looked more like a flea. You shot entirely around them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just, I'm trying not to insult you here, but wow, that was like a cartoon. It's around this point, I'm getting really pissed off with the AK. Is this uh, the one that you got at Straylock's hideout, or is this um, yeah. just... Okay. It's the rapid fire one. I think that might be why, because the rapid fire one trades off accuracy for just bullet output. Need to be careful, we're right outside one of the monolith bases. And they are protected by snipers and guard towers. But it wasn't the snipers that gave me so much trouble. I cut straight to like, the tenth fucking take or something. It's all of these guys just wandering out of this hole in the base's fence. They all come out in this one area. Ow, holy shit. Yeah. We. <laughs> what the hell is this jackass? <laughs> oh, found him. Whoa! He's somewhere over there. He and about ten other dudes. 
somewhere in the general direction of wherever my grenade landed. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and also it doesn't help that my armor is taking a real beating. You can actually hear the brain scorcher right now. It's going warm, warm. That is the sound of your brain being scorched. But you probably warm. don't realize that because you're a babbling idiot right now. Ooh, you can see the antennas. It's a pretty cool image there. Where? Oh, yeah, it is. Ah, uh ha. -huh. So that's how you're supposed to get in. Okay. Yep, there is a front entrance, but this is the... Well, I, you would assume it would be an easier side entrance. It gave me trouble. I can tell you there's a third entrance. There's If you go... Like, along the road that we were traveling to to get here, if you keep going along it, you'll find a bit more monolith soldiers. But then you'll find a tree that's just kind of toppled over onto there. It's not intended, but you can jump onto the tree and then uh, jump over the wall. And after you leap over, you are right at the entrance to the next area. Oh, nice. It's really convenient. The only issue is that you have to go through the um, road, which is just open area, and there are guard towers with dragon off snipers. This seems a little easier, quite frankly. That's just because of how I edited it. Look at that. That's pretty rad. Yeah, that's pretty cool. No, that sniper I killed, he actually had a moonlight artifact. I have not seen one of those so far. It's like an even better version of the sparklers that I've had. Hmm. But I need it for a request. That dude took three bullets to the face. What the hell? Yeah, there's a few of those guys down here. This is the last tunnel right before the Brain Scorcher itself. Oh boy, we're getting there. Oh no, I killed the ghost. I think the ghost actually ate the bullet that could have killed that soldier. What a jerk. There's one more guy. Where is he? He might be waiting, like, right in the doorway. Come on. Yes! Oh. Uh, Bye. Are you... F Goodbye, cruel world, literally. That happens all the fucking time. You were... <laughs> nope. <laughs> I didn't want to be a fighter. I wanted to be a lumberjack. That's why you came to the... I'm really hating this AK. Jesus. Oh my. That last one should have been the final straw. The fact that you were point blank aiming directly at him and the bullet somehow went at like a 90 degree angle. Well, at least on the plus side, I think Brain Scorcher was the point where I had so much trouble getting out of it. I had no real trouble getting in. I had trouble getting out, and the AK was so useless that I finally ditch it. Thank God. I'll fucking put it out of its misery myself. Chick, chick. I'll shoot it. <laughs> I'm just imagining that scene from, like, Office Space, you know, where the three guys take the uh, fax machine out back and just start beating it with a baseball bat. <laughs> that's gonna be us. Oh, is that what that's from? I've seen it referenced everywhere, but I've never actually seen the scene. Yep. I was gonna say, like, have you not seen Office Space? Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> well, I also haven't seen Office Space. It's a pretty good movie, but that's neither here nor there. But yeah, uh, next time. Oh, boy. Ready to get your brain scorched, boys? Well, no, that's why we're here. You know it! <laughs> Can't scorch something that's not there, man. Yeah. <laughs> That sounded very stoner. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I ain't getting my brain scorched. It's already... I don't know, weed lingo, never mind. End the episode.